Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in Let's Play No Man's Sky. I'm running towards the teleporter. <laughs> My live stream on Thursday night was disturbed. It was, distur it was disturbed and it was disturbing. I see you hiding from me. <laughs> I see you were trying to hide from me. This is Traveler Seba. He is going to give us a glyph. Uh, I'm going to see the whole life exact moment. My wonder. He's pensive. I've already talked to him, apparently. I'll give him 15 nanites. What is he going to give me? $23,291. Uh, today, I thought we would try to, try to go back uh, to some of the systems that we were not able to visit on the live stream because I couldn't render a planet last night, or well, on the live stream two nights ago. It was last night for me. <laughs> so the the whole kit and caboodle uh, comes down to a Streamlabs update that I had about 20 minutes before the live stream. That's always the best time to have an update, isn't it? Right before you're gonna go live and Usually, um, normally, under normal circumstances, when I have a Streamlabs update, I just go ahead and restart my computer. Uh, but, uh, of course, I had um, all kinds of streamy things going on, like the preview and Beeble Bum and my game. And everything was all set up and ready to go. And I turned on Streamlabs and, yeah... Last night, or, uh, sorry, I, I keep saying last night, on the live stream Thursday, <clears throat> I ran into, um, like, nine A-class multi-tool cabinets in a row. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was amazing. <clears throat> also, I did not get, um, any of the suit slots, uh, from all of that traveling around because I was so concerned um, with what was happening uh, that I wasn't really paying very much attention to my actual game. Ooh, what have we got going on here? Uh, that is not the planet that is doing that. That is certainly not the planet doing it. Um... We've got a filter here. I'd like to try and figure out where it's at. Still a little bit herky jerky here. Mm hmm. Maybe that is the planet doing it. Uh, that's the infested Paradiso. Let's take a look. Maybe that is the planet doing it. It's very stormy right now. Holy Hannah! <laughs> uh, wow. This place is awful. <laughs> hey, I see a knowledge stone, though. And a crab. And a bone, uh, whatever you call them. Bony creature. <laughs> Let's uh, just make sure that's under control because it's loud outside my uh, cockpit. Hi. Kind of cute. In a bony kind of way. Big old crab. So I've already gotten... There's somebody hiding over there. I've already gotten a uh, glyph from that last system. I didn't see anybody around this system. I did see uh, several travelers last night, but being unable to go to the actual planet, I didn't even talk to them. And getting um, glyphs in multiplayer is always a little bit... Uh, you don't know if that's going to work, you know. 
Five of 12 creatures. Oh, this place is awful. Mikey would love it. <laughs> Mike Young is partial to these horrifying places. <laughs> So I have, you know, well more than um, half a dozen systems uh, to visit. Uh, but let's just take a look uh, at the galaxy map and see if we're in within, within shooting distance of all these uh, systems that we went to last night. There is one of them. That's one of the ones that Lava went to. Um, or, last night oh my gosh just whenever I say last night just take that out of your mind and put Thursday in there <laughs> so we're looking for suit slots and um, technology do I have any nanites uh, 3600 I gained a little bit of nanites last night. Come on, engines. Oh my gosh. Forget it. <laughs> the live stream was last night for me. <laughs> and I can't fix it. <laughs> we had fun despite all of the insanity. Uh, those of you who were uh, like to keep count of things, I had uh, over 20 uh, stream drops, um, and um, yeah, never had any before. <laughs> on, oh, this is the one with the crystal. One of the ones with the crystal. There you go. Um, <laughs> over 20. Uh, dropped frame sections of dropped frames because I mean it was like some of them were like 80% <laughs> one of them was 87% which means basically the stream is just frozen in position at that point <laughs> howdy look kind of funny with that hat uh, do I need that I don't even know let's find out um, launch thrusters. Launch thrusters. Actually, I'm done with launch thrusters. Dang it! Excuse me. I'd like to return something. <laughs> I haven't even taken it out of the package. Oh, I got cheated. <laughs> it's a good thing I had that photon cannon. Yikes! Jeez, dude. Beep or something when you're moving. <laughs> I wish haulers had beepers. Beep, beep, beep. There's that googly-eyed fool. Uh, I didn't want to sit down, but um, can I... Wait, wait, I... Excuse me, sir, excuse me. Yes, you. You funny person with the googly eyes. <laughs> you woo. <laughs> Traveler, you woo. <laughs> uh, I'll ask about the water this time. Uh, tell me, did you drink it? Take this. Run! <laughs> oh, thanks. A plasma launcher. I will never use that. <laughs> Although this is normal mode, and I could use a plasma launcher. Just asking where he came from there. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to turn that off. Uh, asking where he came from there so that I can go get his grave. And then we will have yet another glyph. Uh, another thing that I need to do is load up on the actual uh, supplies that I need to charge a portal. <laughs> because on the live stream, I said, let's go to a portal. And um, I wasn't able to charge it. <laughs> <laughs> the only blue thing I had was one single dihydrogen, which I think lava slipped into my suit. <sighs> yeah, 
is very stormy on this planet as well. Maybe not. Oh, maybe it is. Igbarix Sigma in the Pundra Yaw system appears to have storm crystals. Oh, thanks, suit lady. Howdy. What a version. This is Suku. His version number is L slash RG3 slash L25 slash 88T. <laughs> that is quite a version number. Thanks for the information. Thank you for the glyph. Have a nice day. Number seven. Nice. Have to go. Have to do it. Oh, there doesn't appear to be anything there to do. Well, and as much as I really love marshy planets, I think this is probably the first one that I've seen that had storm crystals. Don't see those guys very often anymore. I miss the blobby only planets. Biological entity. Lots of them. Wow. So, oh, four of 12, God. That's two planets in a row. I used to be able to complete a biology, uh, complete a zoology on a planet that had that many um, uh, creatures, but uh, it's much, much more uh, complicated now. with creatures that uh, sometimes uh, don't come out unless it's nighttime. Some of them are only in the Northern Hemisphere, things like that. Hello, cave dweller. Whoa. Cave dweller, I know you're here. That's a bird. Uh, oh, there. There we go. <laughs> One cobalt. That will also not be enough to charge a portal. Alright, where'd the bird go? That is not a bird. There we go. Uh, superheated rainstorm incoming. There's a bad moon rising. I saw a bird. Oh, maybe it was the stomper. Alrighty. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> I'm going to go grab those storm crystals and then we'll go to the next system and see if we can find another traveler. I did grab the blueprint for hypercores at some point and uh, I like using the hypercores. They're easier to make. They cost way less. One antimatter and free storm crystals. Next, basically backtracking through the live stream. Uh, I don't remember that one. I might have missed a couple of these names because Lava went in his own direction and 
I didn't always catch up to him, although I did try. <laughs> he found uh, a C-class multi-tool. I found one, or cabinet rather, and uh, most of the rest of them were A-class, which is just amazing. And then, of course, uh, about an hour before the live stream, uh, I found an S-class cabinet and uh, nothing doing. There wasn't anything there. Oh, oh game freezes. There were a couple of places that I would have dropped a base computer um, so that I could go back and search in my free time, whatever that is. <laughs> Alrighty. That is a C-class cabinet. All right, this must be uh, one of the ones that Lava got. Let's see here. Uh, no, that was my C-class cabinet. I, I don't, do I even need anything? Oh, yeah, I do. I need a hyperdrive. <laughs> um, nope. One of these things. Um, let's see here. That is done, done done and done. One defense shield. I probably don't need six defense shields in normal mode, but it is just the complete set, you know? There we go. Uh, do I have any actual meat? I do not. Well, I suppose I could have gone into the back room. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot wait until winter comes and it starts raining. This uh, smoke, no smoke, smoke, no smoke, you know. It's uh, absolutely making me crazy. There's no red boxes in here. I don't often find those boxes in space stations anymore. I love my ship. <laughs> Grab this. There's a yellow one. Yeah. My hazard protection is at max. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, let's see. I do not see any traveler type persons in here. Carry on. What do we got going on here? Up. There you go. Uh, Indium cannot call my freighter here. <laughs> Alrighty. What is next here? Uh, I remember Tooks. Oh, I've done everything. I did hot tea uh, this morning instead of uh, instead of monster, and uh, tried to stay warm last night. We're at that uh, weird time of year when it's like pretty chilly at night and pretty warm during the day. a cool color combination. Lime green and gray. That looks neat. I like it. All 
right. It's another Geki system. Another one of the A-class multi-tools. <laughs> there were so many of them. I'm going to have to reload those like, like off video because there's just no way. It takes like 25 or 30 minutes for every um, system. I don't need that. I need a red box. Hello. Got a red box. You have a funny hat. No red box. Fine. Thanks anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys have been uh, so amazing, so awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Appreciate all the likes and the subs. And uh, yeah, it's been super uh, for the channel. And what is super for the channel is super for you guys. Because it keeps me going. It helps me to make better contacts in the community. And keep you guys even better informed. Uh, I can tell you that we had a um, internal update on the No Man's Sky servers. Uh, there was uh, nothing uh, yet about it, but this is a holiday week um, uh, overseas. And um, Monday is apparently a, quote, bank holiday. Uh, so hopefully we will have something interesting Tuesday uh, or Wednesday. Uh, if you uh, didn't see it, Captain Steve made a video with my crazy little September 8th idea. And he got even more information, of course. And uh, so that was pretty cool. I'm trying to remember. Well, I guess I'll have to look in the discoveries and try and remember where the diplos are so we can go there uh, next. Lava found some diplos last night. Also last night, I got rid of the trade frigate from the uh, Derrican and I got the, um, uh, whatever it's called, <laughs> the big frigate from Mass Effect. <laughs> My brain just blanked out. My brain is like, nope, can't have that information. It's private. <laughs> Grab another one of those. I'm going to do some of these with uh, drop pod data because, uh, yeah, they're expensive. There's another hyperdrive. There is another one of the A classes. Let's see here. Um, went to a planet, so Lamech U. Uh, I think we just did that one. Yeah, yeah, we did. Bone Cat. Uh, Pundra. There's a fuzzy butt. Oh, that's not nice. Ugh. <laughs> it was a desert planet, so that uh, narrows it down. And it was one of one that uh, lava found. Uh, did I not scan anything? Ugh. Stop that. That's a fungal planet. That is, that was discovered by me. Uh, that is the brown lush. We reloaded one of those multi-tools. Fungal mold. Uh, X4, okay.
You can't go by the color of a planet anymore because um, it no longer holds that just because it's brown that means it's going to be a desert of some kind. <laughs> Hiya, sir. Uh, that's one of our planets. So I have to ask Lava where the Diplo planet is, even though I was there. Uh, also last night, uh, Lava and I both fell through a planet. Uh, suddenly the red and green just failed on us at the exact same time. And uh, it, it was very, very scary, honestly. Oh, he wanted to give me a multi-tool. Too bad it was garbage. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the location of your grave. Oh, did no one tell you you're dead? Yeah, dude, you're dead. <laughs> All right, emissary. Let's go grab this and uh, then we will uh, run up to the anomaly. Oh, I was going to call in my freighter and fix my defense shield, but um, I will do that later. Basically, you just need to eat a, eat a couple of pieces of meat or find a red box or find a white uh, health box as you're wandering around. Red boxes can be found in shelters, in minor settlements, uh, on space stations. Um, you can also get the technology and make one yourself. They work a little bit differently when you make them yourself. Good grief, set down already a Goya Boya Doya's hand. Botantio a mirror. Ouch. Oh, it's all charged. Did I not put it in? Uh, I don't remember doing that. Maybe that uh, yellow box did charge it for some broken buggy reason. <laughs> Extracto Glypho. Woohoo! Now we have half of our glyphs. Oh, hello. It's a gigantic rock. All right, let's jump up on the anomaly super fast. We only have three minutes. I like that planet down there. Seems, oh, pretty cool. <laughs> That's weird. Might be running low on fuel. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little bit low on fuel. Uh, I need some uh, nanites. I need to do some ship scrapping. We need to do some derelict freighters. Uh, actually, a lot of them. <laughs> Not as many, though, uh, as you do when you get a system freighter. That is a true grind. All right, you guys, you need to get on these Nexus missions. Any kind of a Nexus mission will do. Uh, we've got Antimatter Observation Orb, Synthesis Core, and then the Bubble Vat, and there's a couple of things after that as well. Uh, I only have 2300 Quicksilver because I too need to get Nexus missions done. I might be able to get some of that done today. We are in the middle of the weekend event here. Um, planetary data. That is a sizable chunk, 465 nanites, nice. And I have a couple of milestones, not many. Maybe three or four. I don't even know. Um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like I got paid for all of that. Oh, I bought a hyperdrive. That explains it. All right, let's see how terrible this one's going to be. Uh, 200. Wow, that was awful. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and save, even though that was awful. <laughs> What is the hyperdrive range? 1528, 271. 
271 more light years to go to, to max that thing out almost. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe. If you are enjoying the content, then please like. And uh, as always, uh, leave comments down below. And uh, have an amazing day.